What is happening and welcome to another Four Wheel Drive Talk episode. Now friends, when you go heading out on an overlanding off-road adventure, when you think about it, there is a ton of gear that you need to bring with you to be safe. Now you need traction boards, you need recovery gear, you need first aid kit, you need a flashlight, and that's just getting started. Now you should also have a radio hardwired in your truck for easy communication as you're on the trail, but you should also have one of these things, a portable radio for those times that you're adventuring away from your vehicle as well. So as you probably put two to two together in today's video, I want to give you my one year review of the Ocean KG905G handheld two-way GMRS radio. Now this thing has become, I absolutely love this thing. It has become an essential part of my outdoor adventuring kit. And I think this would be a great addition to yours as well. Now, is this a perfect radio? Oh, hell no. But is it worth every penny? Absolutely, yes. Now, before I get diving into, this thing's like all over the place. <laughs> it's gonna take out an eye. Uh, before I get into this review, guys, look, we put videos like this together to help you make, in this case, make educated decisions on possibly a good handheld radio to pick up. If you find some value with this, this video here, do me a favor, hit that like button down below. It really does help with the YouTube algorithm. That said, my friends, pull up a seat then. Yeah, you, you know what happened. Let's go. Now you might be wondering why I suggest that you have a radio in your truck and a portable handheld. And you, know, you probably think, hey, Alex, isn't one radio enough? I like to have a portable radio for several reasons. First, helping guide others in a convoy. Now, if there's a particular tricky spot on the trail, it's much easier and much more effective if I can leave my truck and be a spotter for others in the convoy at that location where things get tricky. Now. It basically doesn't do me any good if I say, hey, Bob, uh, watch out for that rock on the left when I'm sitting in my truck. And with a handheld radio, I could be much more positioned, much more effectively as a guy, as I'm guiding and directing other people. Uh, case in point, Menachee Meadows, uh, at the gatekeeper, you're going to hear people guiding others, letting people know where their tires need to be placed, this and that. And the only way that can happen is you're having a handheld radio it just simply allows you to pick your location much better to be a better of assistance and also provide more safety and just more strategy for people inside their vehicle now not all adventures take place in your truck or on the trail now for example when i'm in the uh, wilderness I'll oftentimes I'll go off on hikes or to take photos all the time. I can't very well be in my truck radio, or actually, let me rephrase it. I can't very well take my truck radio with me. So a handheld is the perfect alternative. Now, Northrim, for example, this was the trip that we took a couple months ago uh, with the Turtleback uh, folks out uh, Grand Canyon, Northrim rather. Everybody was mandatory to have a handheld radio because often cases when we went out on our little day trips, everybody be walking all about. And so a radio is a good means of being able to do a head check, report emergencies, and just basically be in good communication with everybody to make sure everybody gets back home safely. Now, handheld radios are also great around the camp. Now, sometimes I'm going to use North Rim as another good example there, but sometimes there's a lot of people in your party. So a campsite might be rather big. So you might have multiple campsites, campsites spread out over a large area. And a handheld radio really, I'm telling you, makes it much easier to get in contact with folks. And it saves you a little walking as well. Um, again, using Northrum, um, I was at the far end and I was... I was right here. You had uh, Alan from uh, Casey Highlights. And then going down all the way, geez, almost about a half mile, you had uh, Keith with Turtleback at the very extent. And there's, again, we're talking about almost a half mile distance between where my camp was at the far end and, for example, where Keith was. Having a radio like this made a world of difference and be able to keep in contact with everybody. Next, communication in emergencies is easier. Now, I don't expect there to be emergencies when I'm out overlanding or off-roading, but it's better safe to be prepared just in case. So having a radio with you at all times ensures that you can call for help 
as well as receive calls for help. And last but not least on this list here, these things are priced right. Now the Ocean KG905G, this thing's about 125 bucks, which is a small price to pay for having simple and easy communication no matter where you're at. So just to be clear, there are a ton of reasons why a handheld radio is a good investment for your outdoor adventures. But why did I choose the Ocean KG905G? Now granted, you know, as many of you know, I have their KG1000G, which is my mounted radio inside my truck, which actually now I'm thinking about, it. I'm doing a one year review on this thing. I need to do a one year review on that because we did a review like two months. Oh no, that's right. I did a review on that a month after having it. That radio is badass. Absolutely love that radio. And that's what actually got me really honed on this thing right here. The KG-1000G is a badass radio, but we're not gonna talk about that one here today. But that did lead into how well I really like this one. But let's shift gears about the specs and features of this one right here. One of the reasons why the Ocean KG-905G really caught my eye is because it has really a nice set of specs and features, especially when you factor in the price point of this thing. Starting things off, transmission on a 15 high-powered Jumerous channels, as well as eight low-powered Simplex channels and eight Jumerous repeater channels. Now, it sports up to 256 custom channels, so you can actually group the channels in 16 groups. Now, this comes standard with features like channel scan and timeout timer. You also get uh, button peeps, uh, Roger Peep, and Vox. Now, advanced features include selectable power, selectable wide, and narrow bandwidth, and a built-in voltage meter. You also get priority channel scan, group scan, and busy channel lockout, which is pretty darn cool. Now, other features include a built-in stopwatch, English voice prompts, and programmable function keys. So you can actually customize your experience interacting with this radio. As you can see, there's a large, easy-to-read LCD, which makes it very easy to read in bright and dark conditions. I'd actually fired up, but I just realized I took this out of my truck, and I think it was accidentally left on, so this is dead. So it kind of works out good that I'm doing this review right now because I can plop it on the charger after this. Now, there's no programming is needed. So out of the box, this thing is extremely easy to use right out of the box, but it is PC programmable. So if you like, you can just basically hook this thing up to your computer, download the, the Ocean programming software, and you're off to the races to be able to customize the radio to your specific needs. Now there's low interference, there's 157 standard and non-standard CTCSS tones and DCS codes uh, that eliminate unwanted interference. So you can even split tones and scan for tones. Now you can configure the radio to match the tones and codes in your existing radios and up to five watts of power. Now the radio is FCC part 95E compliant. So you do need, let me repeat that, you do need a GMRS license to operate this thing. Now additionally, this radio is built like a stinking tank. This thing has a rated IP66 for dust and water. So hell, you can pretty much use this radio in confidence whether you're on the beach, in a desert rainstorm, or a stinking blizzard. Now the radio does run on a 2600 milliamp our rechargeable ion, or I'm sorry, lithium ion battery, and this is going to give you a long lasting performance. Now, it also comes with a handy dandy belt clip and a wrist strap, so you have various ways that you can carry this radio around with you at all times. All right, let's shift gears and talk about the pros and cons of this radio. Now, as I discussed, this radio is really packed with a ton of features. However, there are some features that I find to be a little bit more important than others. Now, this thing is very easy to use. As I shared earlier, out of the box, this thing is ready to rock and roll. Now, it's very powerful with excellent range. Now, one thing that I do want to point out here, uh, I did the, the antenna that it came with is this short little stubby thing. And I, let's see if we can get that in there because I have no idea. Nagoi, this, this antenna, which you can see is a pretty lengthy thing here. Uh, this was recommended to me as to really supercharge the radio experience. This has been an awesome antenna, even though I broke off, I'm not sure how I did it, but I snapped the, 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 uh, the tip of this thing off, but it still works fantastic though. Uh, the battery life on this thing, 
kind of ironic because it's dead right now, but uh, it was left on and I haven't used it in about a month and a half. But the battery life on this thing is absolutely amazing. Uh, excellent build quality. Uh, this thing has been taken uh, quite a handful of knocks in my truck. It really stands up to the rigors of outdoor adventuring. Now, as I pointed out earlier, you have a large LCD with high resolution in uh, compared to previous models like the 805G that well, it wasn't as uh, as nice as this. Now the knobs on the top are very tight, which helps minimize the likelihood of the knobs are gonna be accidentally turned on when you're hiking or you know riding a four-wheeler or so forth. Now, as I noted earlier, this radio is not perfect. There are a couple things, and really there's just only two things that I don't like about this. Alrighty, so if you program the radio with your computer, you can only do so with a Windows. And as many of you know, I don't have a Windows computer. I only have a Mac, so that really doesn't do me any good until they make it Mac compatible. Now the radio is, in terms of if you look at other products on the market, other radios on the market, this is a little bit big, it's a little bit heavy, but you know, look, as I see this here, that's actually kind of to be expected. So if you want a heavy duty, durable radio that's gonna take some punches, uh, you know, it needs to have some heft to it. And, you know, so, but in terms of other radios out there, this thing's 12 ounces. Um, the length of this thing is 5.25 inches. It's 2.5 inches by 1.5 inches, or actually the 2.5 inches are this way, and 1.5 is the, the depth there. So, I mean, it's a, it's a little chunky radio, but you know, for me, I absolutely love this, but I'm gonna be, you know, I'm gonna put that down as a negative because, you know, it's funny. As I'm putting this together as far as what I'm gonna share with you guys here, I really spent some time trying to think of the things that I don't like. The, the fact that you can only program this with a PC, yeah, that's one thing. Uh, the size, I figured, you know, I've had some people uh, make comment of the size of this. For me, I don't mind because again, it's durable, it takes punches. But at the end of the day, if that's all that I especially don't like about this thing, I think this radio is doing pretty good. But after a year long of using this radio in all sorts of conditions and environments, I can safely say that it's definitely worth the price of admission. Now this is a really quite the feature packed, easy to use radio that has pretty much everything that you need and really not much that you don't. Actually, it doesn't have anything that you don't. So if you spend any sort of time outdoors adventuring, I can't recommend this radio enough. All right, friends, that is it for this review. Now, before we go signing off here, let's chat about our current giveaway, which has three excellent prizes up for the grab. We have the Peak Design 35 liter duffel bag. We have three Peak Refuel meals. And of course, the $100 Amazon gift card. Now, as always, entering the giveaway is actually really easy. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the greater the chance that you have to win. So get watching some more of the videos and <laughs> leave some comments. Step three, register on 4 Wheel Drive Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to register on the site during one of the last giveaways, friend, hey, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swing on by, say hello, we would love to see you. And that is it for complete details on the giveaway or how to say hello on the form. Check out the description below. Good luck. All right, friends, and there you go. This was a fun video to put together. You know, I always say that. It's a fun video to put together, but you know what? It really is. I love getting in front of you guys and I really appreciate you showing your support and watching these videos. Now, what I will say this is earlier in this video, I got sidetracked talking about the KG-1000G, which is a badass radio. It was easy for me to really get off on that tangent because that radio is a powerful workhorse, and which has also led to me really enjoying this radio so much because they're made by the same company. But as I noted earlier, boy, I'm due for a one year uh, review on that one. That radio hands down as is as equally, I'm pausing because I was gonna say equally as impressive as this one. But actually I like that one more. That's not to take anything away from this. This is an amazing radio, badass radio. But the one inside the truck there, that thing is a stinking tank. And that is feature rich as well. So anyways, stay tuned and I'll probably get that out here in the next uh, 30 days or so. But that will be a, that'll be a fun review that you'll definitely wanna tune in on to. But, Guys, it's that time of the video where I'm gonna shut this camera off, that camera off, 
and get out of here. So if you found some value with this video, you'd be doing me a big favor by hitting that like button down below. If you haven't already, actually you've gone this distance, why not hit the subscribe button so therefore we get to see more of you, more of each other in the future. Actually, you technically have to hit that bell so therefore YouTube does its whole notification thing every time that we come out with a video, but you get the point. Friends, I'll say it again. It was good seeing you. I'm gonna be shutting up my camera so you get out there, stay healthy, and find your adventure.